Hello everybody, I'm SJF95 Fighter and welcome to Fallout Equestria. Now this is a pre-alpha made by the Overmare Studios. We are currently working on this game right now. This is just, like I said, the pre-alpha of the game, which is just, you know, the first testing of getting a working version of the game. And I played this and I played around this a little bit, and the mechanics are, for the most part, pretty good. It's, a lot of it is uh, very similar to Fallout 3, because Fallout 3 had been the main source of inspiration for Fallout Equestria, the fanfiction itself. Now, I haven't gotten everything working just yet. This is a pre-alpha, not even an alpha test. So, you can't pick up ammo yet. And there's nothing in the ammo boxes. And the physics in this game is very sensitive. Just walking into one of these bowings just is in glitch out like crazy. It's quite nice for some of these boxes and can we knock over a barrel? Ha. Nope. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, just taking a quick look around. Most of the graphics are, for the most part, for pre-alpha. They're actually pretty nice to look at. actually impressed by the quality of this pre-alpha. I think that um, this is, the lighting in this game is mostly relied on a HDRI, HDMI. No, what am I talking about? Ah, uh, do not quote me on anything I'm talking about here. I know my way around designing games through my college course, but I can't remember half of the stuff that I learned there on the game side. I remember most of the stuff I learned for films, which is the higher quality version of what you do for games, because the game engine has to be able to process everything. A lot... There's a lot of procedural textures for the leaves on the trees. And we have a couple of bare trees as well. That's kind of nice. Okay, so just taking a quick look around. Uh, yeah, lighting is probably gonna need, still gonna have a lot of work. This is still a very early version of the game. Not everything is going to be accessible and working. Oh, I got a, that's a double barrel shotgun. And I can't take a, I think that's supposed to be apple cider. I've not been able to get up close enough to take a look at what it says. Uh, take, but just take a look at the pit buck. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Let's see, and then laser upgrade. Now let's go with big Mac, little Macintosh here. And we're gonna put this stable maintenance barding on us. Got no A's, no miss, no ammunition, only weapons and appeal are working at the moment and nothing else at the moment. But that that is for the most part what you mostly use in the game anyway. I mean the dynamics for looking around and with a gun is still really good, I think. And uh, yeah, this game is quite fun to play. It's kind of a little bit like Fallout 3, the whole level of graphics and the way the game plays. I'll admit the textures for the hair on the mane and tail look really nice. I like how they've done that. And I love the detail on the um, texture for the barding. The stable suit. Let's go here and kill some red roaches. Jesus Christ. Like I said, this game has a lot of work left to do. There we 
we go. That's one red roach. Well, there was only one red roach here. There's a lot of ambient noises all around, and um, I think uh, they sh there is going to be a lot of work done with spacing them out. Jesus Christ! Every everything's going everywhere. It's crazy in here. I could still hear the sound of red roaches close by, but I killed the one that was inside. So there's not really any objectives or any storyline or dialogue in this game as of yet. Most of this game is uh, enemies inside inside the game and getting them working like the raiders over here. I've not been able to kill one yet, but I'm going to try with this one over here. But I trying to figure out what this is. Is this some sort of flame signal? I better go try and kill this raider here. Oh, I've forgotten how vats work in this game. Oh no. I died. Now I hadn't played um, Fallout on PC in a long time. And I've forgotten how to play it because I've recently been playing Fallout 4 on Xbox One and I've always had preferred um, console controller controls more than keyboard mostly because um, they would often have buttons like sprint and crouch with um, the move buttons, you would have to use your pinky finger holding them down in an uncomfortable position. I just didn't like that very much. So that's why I most often prefer uh, game controllers over a you know, keyboard because it gets pretty uncomfortable a lot of time. Enough of me talking about my preferences. A lot of people you have different opinions on that. Actually, you should would be better trying to get up close to them if I just... Actually, if I turn off magic, am I able to aim down the sights of Little Macintosh? Yes, I am. Why didn't I do this before? Because I'm an idiot. You know, so I think they, I think um, this game hasn't been made with a tutorial yet, or the symbol, I reckon that um, the symbol on the side press should have a um, brackets E to pick, to pick up um, guns and stuff. That would probably help. Uh, some new people that forget what button does which a lot. And bam! Got him! Okay. So far so good. I mean, they do have a little bit of um, depth of field for sound. They have directions that sound is coming from. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did that not hit him? And bam. Whoa, that red roach just went glitching off. Both of them are dead, right? Yes. But I still hear one. I'm betting that Rad Roach I'm hearing is the one in that barn. You need to tell me there's another one. Is there? Oh dear, what? Okay, the game is frozen.
I'm back now. Sorry, my game just completely froze and uh, I just restarted everything and now I'm back here playing again. So uh, we're going to do a little fun game here. You shoot the bottle. See if there's any actual uh, destruction. Whoa, okay. Well, it doesn't destroy the bottle, but it does fling it off. And there's some... Um, are those the security... Are those, those um, little um, uh, robots that kind of just wander around the wasteland that most of them attack you? I think they are. Because in Fallout 4, not many of them actually attacked you. Only if you attacked them. I'm gonna try out and see... What happens, just to try and see if I can be far enough away that I don't alert his friend. And I still want to figure out what these things are. I'm going to try and sprint to one of them, see if I can turn the wheel or something. I wonder how big this map actually is, because I have not been able to... Okay, there's not... you can't turn the wheel. So they do nothing, they're just part of decoration, but it, wait, I don't remember what those things are, whether they are in the Fallout Equestria story or in Fallout the game itself. And I like the way these uh, robots kind of walk backwards. Oh dear. I do like how the reflection for the um, scope of Little Macintosh is done. It's quite nice. I died. I'm just gonna play one more time. One more time. Because there's one more thing I think I wanna try. Why am I still. Why was I still using Little Macintosh? I'll edit this bit out. This game could really... I mean, the Sky Dome is uh, really nice. It's nice and high res. I mean, the Sky Dome itself is pretty nice. I'm willing to... It's giving that... It is uh, all covered in cloud, just as according to the fan fiction itself. Which is really nice that um, they, the creators of Mario Studio had kept to that. But I really think some lighting would do wonders to this game. But that will probably come in the beta. The, the proper alpha is probably still going to need a lot of work. Oh, that was terrible. Now, I was going to try and see if it could kill a raider, but I don't even know if it's even possible. You can fight them, but I don't even know yet if you can even kill them. So anyway, that was Fallout Equestria, the pre-alpha. This game is a really exciting project that I'm really quite intrigued and interested in. And I can't wait to see how the final product actually turns out. This will be a pretty fun game to play for lovers of Fallout and bronies as well. So... Leave your comment below to tell me what you think of the game and what you think could be changed and added in. And So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and comment if you liked what you saw. Subscribe today if you haven't already for more content like this. Leave a like and let me know if this is the kind of stuff you like to watch. 
And as always, I will see you all later in the next video. Catch you all later. Bye!